Aaron Holloway Nahum was born in Chicago in 1983. He began his career as a singer and stumbled upon composition when he asked his choral director for advice on arranging music for an a cappella group he led and was instead sent to the band director who ended up giving him a copy of Walter Piston's orchestration book. While Aaron quickly decided he wanted to be a composer, his background in singing has continued to have a major influence on how he creates music. He describes his own process as one of singing and then transcribing and editing. For all of that, vocal pieces make up only a tiny portion of Aaron's music to date. Last year, Aaron met poet Sasha Dugdale on the Jerwood Opera Course, where they collaborated on a one-act opera entitled The River's Daughter. Aaron has described his experience with Sasha's words as a revelation and has quickly returned to them for tonight's work. Plainer Sailing was commissioned for this programme, and so the lineup of instruments used in the piece are exactly the same lineup as song offerings by Jonathan Harvey. The original score also bears a dedication to Jonathan Harvey. The full title of the poem Aaron chose is Plainer Sailing, Alzheimer's for A.W. He has described his interaction with the words as revolving around the central quatrain. She too surveyed the calm and was concerned. What to make of all the signs? For the sea is rarely blank, and there was a circling, a moment returned when daughter was mother, and there the sun shrunk. The poem builds up a collection of images, and as it's put here, Signs. Aaron's composition is centred upon that question. What to make of all the signs? Aaron sets it as such, as it's easily the highest note in the piece, and in fact the whole concert tonight, a top D. Many composers would shun the idea that a piece of music could be asking something, or have some sort of external meaning. But Aaron has said that he is drawn to music particularly for its ability to create shared meaning, even among total strangers. I guess Harvey is pretty unusual among contemporary composers in that he not only wants his music to have meaning, but insists that music can never be meaningless. When Harvey asked himself, what is the purpose of music? It's a question he dwelt with for a long time. Uh, he concluded that it was to deal with suffering to, to identify that one major problem in life and then to heal. And I think that's a beautiful idea and a very big question for music to ask. And it's something that I hope will come out of the program tonight because each of these pieces actually were written by a composer dealing with that question. Now, I don't have an answer to that question. I don't think that, that the music is a, is a written philosophical argument or some kind of manifesto. The piece is more of a, it, it's a record of me asking that question of myself in, in a difficult situation when there, when there were family things happening and, and basically approaching that question through Sasha's words. And I want the music to be an invitation. I want it to be, you know, whether the listener is a trained composer or, or, or a non-musician who has no experience with this kind of music. I see the piece as an invitation to consider that question with me.